We're not embodying that, that struggle. We're not feeling our feelings. We're not processing them. We're not communicating them and we shove them under the rug. We stay numb, we stay quiet, we co get compounded and we lose our awareness of how our inner guidance is directing us back to our true selves all the time. Hey mama, welcome to the Balanced Mom Method Podcast, a safe space to help you transform the way that you approach motherhood and life. If you're a mom struggling with self-worth, overwhelmed with overstimulation, looking to slow down, conquer mom guilt, let go of external pressures, or even embark on a spiritual awakening, you are in the right place. Let's break free from that survival mode cycle by waking up from autopilot and authentically embracing our inner self-love, trust, and connection. Imagine if every single part of your life was perceived through a lens of expansion, value, worthiness, self-awareness, and acceptance. Hey, I'm Jenna, and I've been where you are. I was consumed in the struggles of motherhood and was always in my own head, never feeling good enough. I realized if I want to make a change, it started within me. And in finding that freedom, I've dedicated my life's work to helping other moms heal from the inside out to come back home to themselves too. So take my hand, mama. Let's set the foundation to live an intentional life full of peace, presence, confidence, clarity, belief, joy, love, and balance. If you are ready to weed the fluff, get to the root of cultivating real change, and feel connected to yourself on a love-rooted level, let's dive in and discover the power within you. Warm up that cold coffee, pop in your earbuds, and tighten that top knot, mama. Let's overcome together. Hello, beautiful mama. I am so excited to share some amazing news with you today. Huh. I hope that you know that my mission, my mission has always been to guide you through motherhood, through life, with developing this deep sense of self-love, trust, interconnection, to live a life that feels good, that feels good to you for the most part, right? Like we all, and, and how to navigate like the trenches, how to navigate the shadows, right? But ultimately to know how to come back to feeling good. In the Balanced Mom Method, gosh, it's been such a transformative journey. It has served so many. Yet as we continue to grow and evolve, it's time to reflect our deeper mission and my soul's mission and almost to come back to my roots of where my soul's work has all started. And with that, the Balanced Mom Method is getting a little update. It's We're changing our name. We're rebranding. We are rebranding to the Naturally Empowered Living podcast. <gasps> So next week, next week, June 17th, we will officially be Naturally Empowered Living. And I'm just so, I'm so excited. I'm so almost relieved. Like this, this feels like home. That, that's just the best way that I could put it. Like this, this is just it. Like it feels like home. Why was I making things so complicated? <laughs> and in this beautiful evolution, I just, I just feel like this this new name. Okay. It's, it's just a name change, right? But I do feel like it's going to better reflect our focus on aligning with our true selves because naturally empowered living, it embodies that de my dedication, that dedication to helping you align with your true essence, to embrace your worth, to live in an empowered, intentional life. And honestly, naturally empowered living. I mean, it's been a big piece, piece of me since I, before I even started a business, before I even became a mom for that matter. Like I had this inner knowing that I was meant to serve others in a way where I've struggled in the past. And I wanted to use my vulnerability to be a voice for those who might be struggling in silence. And as, as some of you might know, like I, I went to college, I got a degree in oncology. I worked as a radiation therapist and I just had this inner knowing, like, is this it? You know, like we've all probably felt that within some point of our lives, let it be in a career or a relationship or whatever. But I just had this inner knowing that I, I was, I don't want to say that cliche, like I was meant for more. I was, I was, I knew I was just meant for something different. I knew that I was not aligned. I loved my, my position as a radiation therapist. I loved my patients. They meant everything to me, but that's the service heart in me. Like that is the, the that piece of me. And I wanted to be that voice. Like I, I knew, I knew that my calling was a different path and struggling in silence, kind of reeling that back in struggling in silence. It's, it stinks. It sucks. It hurts. It's, it's lonely. And we might like, we might make it worse because we're not, 
we're, we're not embodying that, that struggle. We're not feeling our feelings. We're not processing them. We're not communicating them. And we shove them under the rug. We stay numb. We stay quiet. We co- get compounded. And we lose our awareness of how our inner guidance is directing us back to our true selves all the time. So naturally empowered living, it was born in my heart years and years and years and years ago. Naturally being authentically from within. Empowered. The courage to be unapologetically you. Living, conscious, intentional awareness to stay true and always come back home to you when hardships arise. Like I had that written, like naturally empowered living, like naturally dash, authentically from within, empowered dash, courage to be unapologetically you. I had that written before I even started my blog in 2020. (laughs) And I, I wonder, like, how did I get so off track from that the past few years? Yet it's so beautiful. It's so divine. It's, it's miraculous how what is meant to be for you will always come back to you. It will always find a way. Yet, I mean, just because our, our free will, it, we might choose a different route. We might choose a different path. We might get off path. Whatever happens, maybe someone else's free will got, you know, in in the way, quote unquote, of like our divine path. And we kind of had to segue a little bit to, to get back on route, right? But what is meant for you, what is meant to be will always find a way. All those cliche quotes growing up, right? They're so flipping true. And I'm just learning, you know, through credible resources and like just my learnings and educating myself backing these quotes, right? But as well as my own experiences, it's just, it's magic. And just like these full circle moments that I've had over the past few years, so simple, but naturally empowered living, right? Finding that written down on a piece of loose leaf paper in an old notebook, I was like, holy shit, Jenna, like this is where I am, you know, four years later. And that's, that was where the vision started. Yet I got so, not so much off track, but it was just like, I, I can't explain it, right? It, it just, I I went down a different road for, for a while. And like finding my way back, right? Finding my way back home. And be you, like I got that tattooed on me. <laughs> I was in my early 20s, I got be you. And when I went off to college, I think I was still in high school. I still, oh my gosh, I'm looking at it right now. It's it was like a an oversized mug, but I think it was actually like a planter vase. And I refurbished it, let's say, to take it to college with me to be like a pen holder. And it says, be the you you're meant to be. That has been my favorite quote since I can remember. And I painted this be the you you're meant to be with my favorite color is teal. And I'm looking at it right now like that is will always be, that, that'll be in every every home, every office, that will always be a part of me. And just think like how off track we get sometimes, but it's like those little moments that you're like, holy shit, this was 10 plus years ago. And now it's like you're circling back. And those are just like those defined moments of like, this is it. Like, this is my calling. This is how I know my energy of alignment. You know, thinking back to previous episodes. And again, just having like those life altering moments, those examples that I shared, like of the self love piece, you know, when I had that you know, smack in the head, aha moment of I need to love myself first. Bam, I met my husband. You know, like those self, how important that self-love is within your life. And we just, it's, I, 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 I could go on and on. Like I've always been an outsider within my life and marching to the beat of my own drum. And I've, I've fought for that. Not like, I'm not like trying to be the outsider, but like I've fought for the authenticity because, you know, trying to get pulled into the, the trends, the now, the styles, wh- whatever it is, you know, and I've, I've always cherished that, that, okay, certain things, like I've jumped on the sourdough train because I've always wanted to like be the homemaker and make my own bread and like make my own food from scratch and stuff. So yeah, okay, I jump on certain things. But when I know that it's aligned with me, like having that discernment of, uh, no, that's not me. That's cool. You know, if, if that's you, that's a trendy, whatever. Awesome. Not for me. I'm not going to just follow along because, you know, everyone else is doing it. And that's something that I've always, in, when I get these little reminders, it's like, okay, like that, that that's it, right? Or kind of going off that with never compromising my integrity, even if it meant like, quote unquote, not making it in certain fields. I will never compromise my integrity, my loyalty, my honesty for making a quick buck or making someone else feel inferior. Like there's certain values, right? And core beliefs and and visions and missions that that drive us, and again, we can, we can get off track, right? So I see I'm even getting off track as I'm as I'm chatting right now. So in my reflections, I was like, why was I making things so complicated? <laughs> like 
the balance mom method, it, it's beautiful. It was, I mean, I had a signature course. I had a mentorship. I, it, of course, has been this podcast for so long because when I became a mom, I feel like that was a big wake up. That was a the beginning of this beautiful spiritual awakening without even knowing it, right? When you become a mom, everything changes. The, everything changes. The selflessness, the perspectives, just it, it all does. And I was just holding on so near and dear because also I've felt this pull for a long time, a long time. And I was even told to get rid of naturally empowered living and only have the balanced mom method. I was told that from someone. And I just, I continued to hold them both and keep them both. I was told it was confusing, but I'm like, no, I'm not getting rid of naturally empowered living. And at the time I'm like, I don't want to get rid of the balanced mom method either. So I just continued to have both. Like, why not? Why not? We could have both. It's not, you know, a or, or either or. It could be and, right? And there's always been this just deep-rooted connection. And I finally listened. And I'm going back to the OG. Like, I, to get a little more on a deeper level of why for the shift is because I'm in the trenches with you always. I commit to walking the walk of my alignment first. Holding tight onto my integrity and coming from that place, and speaking from that place, and leading, maybe if, if it's even just me leading from that place, I'm committed to the work, to my integrity, and to walking that path, path first. And I will always be a servant to this work. It has been an unfolding since I've been a teenager. Like, this beautiful unfolding, the hardships, like, I, this, this awakening that I've had over the past couple years, it's like, all of this is leading to this moment. All of this is leading to this work. I will always be a servant to this work. Because what is this work for? It's to crack us open time and time again for a lifetime as we continuously evolve into our own becoming who we are meant to be. And damn, I'm committed to that to help you also walk that walk. And that's also why I wanted to share this as a complete episode for you today. Not just like, okay, we're changing our name. Like, be sure to save save the show so next week when it's naturally empowered living, you don't see the balanced mom method and you're going to be like, what the heck? Like, it could have been a quick two-minute, you know, announcement episode. But I wanted to make an actual, still something tangible, something for you to take away with for you today to make it about the whole experience of being, of becoming, of leaning into and coming back to that alignment, that practicing what I preach with living in our own energy of alignment. So I just want to have like a little heart to heart with you because I could go so many different avenues of why, you know, I'm, I'm making this change or share with you like all the, the journal entries, all the aha moments, the meditation, the prayers. But we have so many layers to who we are and what makes us who we are. Like there's our childhood our teenage years, our early adulthood. But then there's another lens that has these core life-changing moments, these core memories, these core traumas, either like big T trauma or little T trauma, depending, you know, how how that experience was for you. Those, Those experiences that shape us and mold us, that create the feelings, the emotions, the responses, the triggers that become our defaults, that give us the choices to which direction You know, when we come to a fork in the road, what direction are we going to take? When we are given this hard situation, are we going to choose the anger or the different perspective of love? We are such beautiful, multifaceted, crazy, weird, deep, complex creatures. (laughs) And I think that that deserves a spot to be spoken for because thinking of how complicated we are, complex, complicated, it can almost take the weight off of our shoulders a little bit, hearing like we are complex. There is so many layers that make a human a human, let alone each one of us, the billions of us are all so different. Like just think of that for a second, right? Give yourself some credit, give yourself some grace, cut yourself some slack, but also embrace the awareness, embrace the intentionality of learning who you are to get to know who you are, to heal, to grow, to evolve. Like the majority of us, we're doing our best. We want to be doing our best. Maybe we're not our best every day, but like we want to deep down, our intentions are to do our best. We are open for growth. We are open for evolution. We are open for change. We are open for learning. We're teachable. We're coachable. 
Yet there's still so much unknown to what makes us human and so many different modalities to help us heal or to help cure or to help treat or overcome that sometimes we get lost in these gray areas of just loving and accepting and honoring the beautiful creation that we are, the messy and the magic, the shadows and the light, like all parts that make us human. So as we are evolving into completely being naturally empowered living, we're going to be honing in on a lot of different conversations, of course, the welcoming all parts of ourselves, the thinking differently, the being unapologetically you, but through root cause therapy, energetics, meditation, like those, those are my buckets. Like those are my babies. Those, these three things has been the biggest transformation of my life over the years. And let, let's just have a little bit of story time, okay? So like the root cause therapy, like I, the beginning of this show, before I even knew that there was like root cause practitioners or just root cause transformational coaches, like before I even knew that that was a thing, like I've been talking about getting to the root of our struggles, getting to the root. So without being even certified in it, like I was speaking on it because I knew the importance of it, right? And within our, you know, going back to our inner child, if, you, if you've heard, or simply past experiences that form beliefs or compounded stuck emotions, you know, as we, as we grow. Like being able to get to the root of the trauma or the root of why I'm responding the way I'm resp- responding or the root of a trigger to be able to then reprogram, release. Again, these interchangeable words, right? We're, we're simply doing the work to be able to, to be here now, to release the limiting beliefs. Like there's the subconscious work. If we wanna rewire our subconscious, like there's embodiment work that has to be done to be able to be on this journey of our becoming. And I learned at a very young age, the importance of self-love, trust, connection. Even if I didn't embrace it, I didn't even know what it was. But again, like doing this work, doing these meditations, like going on this journey and connecting with my past self, like that inner child piece, like experiences that have come to my mind and like going through the process again from that outsider perspective, right? Like outside looking in, it's like, oh my God, like all these lessons, right? And like I came from a place, I had minimal self-worth. I allowed the pressures and expectations of others, society to mold me into feeling like I was never enough. Like that, that is my, that's that core. Like I'm still shedding these, these stories of that core root belief, root limiting belief, if you will, of not being enough. I, I did more harm to my body than good. I struggled with anxiety and eating disorder. Like I, I, I went through it. And I mean, we all go through it to some ex- extent, right? And in that brainwash, of you know years of my life, I felt like that body dysmorphia, that eating disorder, it was the only thing that I had control over in those moments. So where is the root of that, right? So it's like in those experiences, yes, I could look at that as a negative, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe like I was that low. But then let's look at it through a different lens of, okay, why, why, why was that even, like where is the root there? Where is that root of what was, I really struggling with to be able to fall in that eating disorder, to fall into using alcohol to blur the edges of life, to, you know, having these core memories of of teachers, old boyfriends, the college oncology director, friends, family members that were perceived in a not so great light, like comments that were made or, you know, things that were said about me. Those things that just stick with you years and years and years and years later. And it's like it sticks with you, even if like that person said that thing and it wasn't intended to be the way that you took it, but you still took it a certain way. And then these emotions, these perspe- perceptions may be a little skewed, but they're stuck, right? They're inside. They are in your energy field. They get stuck. They are rooted within you, within your subconscious ener- energy field, whatever you want to call it, our narrative. And in acknowledging, allowing those, those comments that were said years ago to be able to come to the surface to allow them to not be suppressed anymore, to get again to that rut. Then we were able to heal through it, to release it, to rewrite those stories. 
because you might, if you remember the episode 80 with Claire Uncafer, you know, she said, because an experience or a memory when I was three years old came up and she goes, Jenna, because she could tell I was kind of, you know, it was completely impromptu. And she goes, Jenna, this is three-year-old logic, okay? So it's not going to make sense. And that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Like, it's not that that person, that person might not have had the ill intention, but you took it that way and that's okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? So now it's like, okay, let's rewrite that. Let's heal that. Let's release that. And for me, the older that I got, you know, not being, not acknowledging these and walking through life numb and just going through the motions day in and day out, I was, I felt like I was on this constant uphill, just striving to love myself, like just striving to be in this experience called life that was not so easy, you know, battling societal external pressures, expectations of who they said I should be, and just trying to make my own way in the world. Again, like being that outsider, like I, I've never felt like I've quote unquote like belonged, right? And I just longed for this no anxiety and just ridding all these crippling feelings and just living in the present, like having that love for myself, happiness, gratitude, surrounding life, right? So that root cause therapy, oh, I'm so, it is so such a passion of mine to be able to not only, of course, like I'm walking the walk, I I love doing this work with me. And it has helped so much. And that's why I'm so excited, you know, to go through this certification to become a root cause therapy practitioner myself, to be able to help you do the same. And with energetics, oh, another, like just so fascinated by it. Like I'm, I'm a very big empath and I love talking to people that quote unquote, like are not empaths <laughs> because it's just, again, like the perspectives, like how, what makes us, us, you know, our, our own unique individuality. It's just so fascinating because I'm like, oh, we don't all feel so deeply. Like when you enter a room, like you can tell like what's going on. Like if I'm around a certain, like if I'm around anyone or whether that's coming, like just there's just so much, right? Everything is so heavy. I just shared it on my stories the other day on Instagram. It is both a blessing and a curse to feel everything so very deeply. However, that's a little extreme. Like I wouldn't say it's a curse, right? However, I mean, I was having a really hard time once I like, oh, what's, what's an empath mean? Oh, I think that is me, right? Like once I learned what an empath even was, I had a really hard time discerning what was mine. What was my energy? Like what, you know, where can I cross or draw that line? Where can I set that boundary? Because I was taking it all in. So insert, you know, this passion for learning energetics and for learning, you know, uh, okay, emotions, energy in motion, right? Like everything is energy and it's just so fascinating. So to be able to, you know, get to that root cause first and then use energetics to be able to really harness and raise that baseline if we're living in this state of fight or flight, survival mode, fear, scarcity, whatever those lower vibrational emotions might be, we could raise that baseline, right? Let it be to see in a different perspective, to to change our habits, whatever it might be to raise that baseline because our natural innate state is to live in peace and presence and confidence, clarity, belief, joy, love, all right? And meditation, oh, Y'all know me and meditation, it saved me in becoming a mom. <laughs> like the overstimulate, well, start, you know, the fourth trimester. Like, whoa, first time motherhood, fourth trimester. How many of us, hand up, was blindsided? Like, we, you're pregnant for the first time, so you're learning, oh my gosh, everything you can about baby. How many books are about the fourth trimester? How many books are about, you know, mom postpartum? and the emotions, the, the, the brain fog, the, the, well, the lack of sleep, like lack of sleep is like a form of torture, right? So it's like the mental instability, the, the intrusive thoughts. Oh my gosh. Like I struggled as, as a lot of us do that fourth trimester because I was so blindsided and meditation saved me. I had no idea, again, no idea what meditation even was. I thought I had to sit still or silence my mind and do all these things like black and white. And I naturally fell into meditation. I, I called it prayer, but now as I'm going through an instinctive meditation certification program, because I was very distinct in the type of certification I wanted to go in, because it's not all, you know, rainbows and butterflies and, you know, silencing your mind in meditation. 
of course, that's like being a stillness seeker, you know, that's a big goal of mine just because of the season of life that I'm in. Like I want to quiet my mind, but meditation is so far from that. (laughs) It's so far from that. And I naturally did it without even realizing it. And it saved me from the overstimulation, giving me that, that quiet time to myself, even if it's that fiver, right? So root cause therapy, energetics, meditation, that's what we're about here. And to be able to use those, to harness those, to come back home to yourself, to be unapologetic in who you are, in the becoming of who you are. So essentially, you might be like, okay, nothing's really changing and nothing really is going to be changing (laughs) besides our name, right? The Balanced Mom Method is changing to Naturally Empowered Living. I am adding a few more services and mentorships in the coming months. But for the sake of this show, we're continuing to bring you the same heart-centered content, emphasis on the energetics, meditation, emotional well-being. You'll still hear from experts, guests in, in their fields, personal stories, practical tips to help you align back to your energy of alignment. I'm just, I'm so grateful for your support. Thank you for listening to this episode. And I, I can't wait for this journey to continue with you under our new name. Woohoo! So stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for being a part of our community. And next week, next episode, I'm not sure if it's going to be episode one or episode 90. I'm not sure how that all works with changing the name and I still have to figure all that out. So be sure to follow this show now, The Balanced Mom Method. Subscribe to the show now because it will stay in your library and it won't get lost during this transition of a name change if you follow it now. Like if it's in your library, If I change the name, it's not going to leave your library. So be sure to follow. Be sure to subscribe now because next week you're probably going to forget. Like you have so much other stuff going on. You're not going to remember, oh, the balanced mom method is changing to naturally empowered living. So be sure to just do yourself a favor. Subscribe now. (laughs) Starting June 17th, next week's episode, our podcast will be now naturally empowered living. I can't wait for you to join me on our new adventure. So make sure to subscribe, follow the show so you don't miss any upcoming episodes under Naturally Empowered Living. I love you, friends. Until next week, as always, simply be you. You have everything inside of you to learn your energy of alignment and be unapologetic in who you are. I'm sending my love and light. Did you find this episode rewritable and compelling? Please give me a review. Thank you so much for spending this sacred time with me on the Balanced Mom Method podcast. I am sending you so much love and covering you in light, praying this episode has helped you in some way. And if it has, I'd be so grateful if you left a written review sharing how it's impacted your life. It truly lights me up hearing how you are on your way to your breakthrough. And also, please share this episode with another mom who may be struggling to remind her that we are never alone and to help give her that empowerment to take that first step. And be sure to check the show notes for additional ways to connect with me, our motherhood empowerment community, and if and when it feels good to you, learn how we could work together to help you reclaim your power, mama. Thank you. I appreciate all you are and all you do. Sending my love and light.